friends a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy eucharist of love today we shall pray for those places where desecration has taken place of the crosses of the churches or of the prayer homes we ask our dear lord to take control over the situation we pray for all the priests nuns the lay people working in those areas we ask our dear lord to give them strength and courage and the authorities that they may take the right action without any discriminations let us pray for this intention together in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit let us call to mind all our sins and our failures let us ask the Lord to forgive us all our sins and those times that we have deliberately sinned let us confess together I confess to almighty God and, and to you my brothers and my sisters that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words in what I have done in what I have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my, my most grievous faults and therefore I ask the blessed Mary of virgin all the angels and saints and, and you my brothers and sisters to pray, pray for me to Lord our God may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray almighty our living god who are wonderful in the virtue of all your saints grant us joy in the yearly commemoration of saint clement who as a martyr and high priest of your son bore out by his witness what he celebrated in mystery and confirmed by example what he preached with his lips through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the book of daniel chapter 2 verses 31 to 45 daniel said to nebuchadnezzar you have had a vision o king and this is what you saw a statue A great statue of extreme brightness stood before you terrible to see the head of this statue was of gold its chest and arms were of silver its belly and thighs of bronze its legs of iron its feet part iron part earthenware while you were gazing a stone broke away and touched by any hand and struck the statue struck its feet of iron and earthenware and shattered them and then iron and earthenware bronze silver gold 
all broke into small pieces as fine as chaff on the threshing floor in summer. The wind blew them away, leaving not a trace behind. And the stone that had struck the statue grew into a great mountain, filling the whole earth. This was the dream. Now we will explain to the king what it means. You, O king, king of kings, to whom the God of heaven has given sovereignty, power, strength and glory, the sons of men, the beasts of the field, the birds of heaven, wherever they live, he has entrusted to your rule making you king of them all. You are the golden head. And after you, another kingdom will rise, not so great as you, and then a third of bronze, which will rule the whole world. There will be a fourth kingdom, hard as iron, as iron that shatters and crushes all like iron that breaks everything to pieces it will crush and break all the earlier kingdoms the feet you saw part earthenware part iron are a kingdom which will be split in two but which will retain something of the strength of iron just as you saw the iron and the clay of the earthenware mixed together. The feet were part iron, part earthenware. The kingdom will be partly strong and partly weak. And just as you saw the iron and the clay of the earthenware mixed together, so the two will be mixed together in the seed of man, but they will not hold together any more than iron will be blend with earthenware. In the time of these, kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and this kingdom will not pass into the hands of another race. It will shatter and observe all the previous kingdoms, and it itself last forever. Just as you saw the stone untouched by hand break from the mountain and shatter iron, bronze, earthenware, silver and gold. The great God has shown the king what is to take place. The dream is true, the interpretation exact. The word of God. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All things the Lord has made, bless the Lord. Your response? Give glory and eternal praise to him. Angels of the Lord, all bless the Lord. Your response? Give glory and eternal praise to him. Heavens, bless the Lord. Your response? Give glory and eternal praise to him. Waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. Your response? Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Powers of the Lord, all bless the Lord. Your response? Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia! Stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 21, verses 5 to 11. When some were talking about the temple, remarking how it was adorned, with fine stonework and votive offerings, Jesus said, All these things you are staring at now, 
the time will come when not a single stone will be left on another. Everything will be destroyed. And they put to him this question. Master, they said, when will this happen then? And what sign will there be that this is about to take place? Take care not to be deceived, he said, because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them, and when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened, for this is something that must happen. But the end is not so soon. Then he said to them, Nation will fight against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and plagues, and famines here and there. There will be fearful sights, and great signs from heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today is the memoria of Saint Clement the First. He was Bishop of Rome after Peter, Linus, and Cletus. He lived during the last years of the first century. There are not many things left behind, but a document, a letter written to the Church of Corinth, where he mentions to them about living in peace. Let us take his example to share peace with one another and to instruct all those who are under our care to live in peace and harmony. Dear brothers and sisters, both the readings, first from Daniel, the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, which Daniel interprets, and the instructions of Jesus in the Gospel reading of today, in chapter 21. It speaks about some type of a destruction, that which has to happen. You know, people try to glorify, they try to revere things that are seen all in order, especially the temple and the city of Jerusalem feeling that this temple is built on fine stones. Every corner of it is so well built. The stones are very well linked and the building looks beautiful. The city looks beautiful. But Jesus gives a warning to them. Not a single stone will remain one top of the other in the order that you see. And people are asking him, Master, when will it happen? How will it happen? How will we know that such a thing is going to happen? And he does not give them a very precise answers, but gives them a some type of symbolism that even some will come in his name saying, I am he, and I am telling you the truth. Such and such a thing will happen. But Jesus said, do not believe. The destruction is not going to come so soon. There will be nations against nations. There will be cities, countries against each other, and kingdoms against each other. They will fight, there will be wars, but do not fear, all of you, 
because this has to happen. The battle has to take place. In the bargain, there will be total destruction. My dear brothers and sisters, in life, we are all disturbed. When? When everything has happened peaceful, when everything is in order, when we have the best of house, building, property, everything, finally there is disharmony. There is no peace. And you begin to feel within yourself, Oh, I thought there will be peace when I have achieved everything. I thought there will be peace when I have bought such a lot of property, had so much of wealth, so much of good things. But the kingdom will stand against the other. There will be destruction. If we concentrate on things which are not of this kingdom, these things will have to come to an end. Finally, the kingdom of God has to overpower these little, little kingdoms and rule over all these weak kingdoms. These kingdoms which are based on earthly material, earthenware and iron, which do not have strength. But the power of God will come so mightily and it will stand above everything in life. So my dear friends, even if Jesus was speaking about the temple of Jerusalem, which was destroyed in 70 AD, the temple that is deep within us still needs to be intact. It will be destroyed when nothing has got harmony within the temple within my own self. But we should be craving for Christ who is the final temple, who is the absolute resurrection, who gives us new life, new kingdom. So many a times what Jesus reminds us about is some people will come to predict Oh, the Spirit of God is telling me this. The Spirit of God is telling me about you, about you, about you. Don't believe. Because these are fake statements. The Spirit of God will tell you about yourself. It will predict about the temple within yourself. Self-transformation is very necessary than trying to transform others by my words or trying to tell people, the Spirit of God is like this, telling me this, telling me that about you. No, the Spirit of God is telling me about myself. And it will be a personal change, not to destroy this temple, but to build it for the kingdom of God. So my dear friends, let us ask our Lord to come within this temple which is there and to break down all that is bad, which is preserved in our hearts, to destroy all the filth and fill with the Spirit of God, so that this temple is renewed and the temple of God instills in me and lives forever to give me resurrection and life eternal. Amen.
pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Clement the First, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Clement I, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced through eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
Our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray to Mary, our Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, thanking our dear Mother for being with us, accompanying all of us, and for the blessings that we have received in our families and for each one of us as individuals. Dear Mother, we ask you to bless those people who are struggling and suffering in life, especially with COVID-19. Dear Mother, Bring healing through your Son to each one of them. Heal all those people who are ill due to various other illnesses, especially those who are suffering due to cancer, people who are depressed and worried, the poor, the needy. Bless all the families, dear Mother, with peace, joy and serenity, we pray. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may you have a wonderful day with your family and friends.